Hello Tribe, welcome to Tribe Lies Day 2. It's been another day of inspiring talks, workshops, activations, breath work, delicious food, movement and of course the beautiful jungle at Palodora campus. I had the honor of interviewing a whole bunch of inspiring people within the regenerative movement. And we get to take a look at three of them. Our first interview today is with Karuna, our water magician from Water Now US. We'll be touching on the energetic properties of water as well as its existence as a resource. Uh, with Water Now US, he's providing sustainable solutions to uh, filter water for fresh water as well as treat gray and black water to funnel it back into a circular system. Um, let's take a look at it. Karuna, thank you so much for sitting with me today. What brought you to Tribalize? What is your part in the regenerative movement? Thank you, Julia. It's an honor to be here. And it's a bit of a story um, because I've been involved in sustainable and regenerative movements for a good part of my life now. Um, I first lived on an eco village um, in Costa Rica um, called Pacha What eco village was that? It was called Pachamama. Okay. And um, it really shifted the way I used to live in cities and that model and took my traditional education of engineering and expanded it to be more in harmony with nature. And um, then I started meet, meeting people that cared about the earth, how systems work, and I was able to find out about sustainable building. And so, yeah, it's been a, a movement that's kind of gone on and very close to my heart. And I'm always constantly learning about it also. I have a traditional engineer, environmental engineering background, but I realized that traditional education only takes you so far they really need to have more of an experiential background also. So that's what's there. And I've uh, met Brad and some people here in the regenerative movement uh, in Tulum. And so it's really an honor to be here because I think I've, I've already learned so much and then people are really sharing a lot of special right. knowledge and information here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I call you a water magician because <laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Can you can you explain everyone uh, why that is the case? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, um, some years ago, about seven years ago, actually, I decided to focus on water. Uh -huh. I did what's called a traditional vision quest, where we fasted for four days and four nights without water. And it was at those moments where I realized the sacredness of water. At that time, I was also reading a book by Dr. Emoto um, called The Power of Water, and about how if you put certain energies or words like gratitude to water, mm -hmm. um, it shifts the molecular um, background of the water into crystalline formations. Um, so I combined that with some of the um, uh, information I knew about how to purify water and that also water has this, a super ancient memory. And so water, even through all this memory, even if it's been contaminated or polluted or becomes what they call dead water, that even the amount of vibration, sound, um, gratitude, and or physical motion can shift the water to restructure it into a more higher um, energetic state of the water. Right. So, so water systems are always flowing, I learned also. And so I've spent a lot of years just studying the nature of water and how water can shift into elements. And also how the water basically is life and that since we're made of water, how we can honor water in our own bodies and the other bodies of water throughout right. life, yes. I love how you're bridging these worlds of the of technology, of engineering with spirituality or more energetic work. Uh, this is really what the regenerative movement is about too, mm. right? Connecting the dots and bringing together the best of all worlds. Mm. What does your uh, what does your business look like today? You you treat water, right? You you provide water filtration systems for people, businesses, communities. Yes, correct. Um, but having a background rooted in spirituality, both Eastern mysticism and like Native American indigenous wisdom, um, they first taught me the power of prayer and water and how to connect with the element. Mm -hmm. And then I bridged that technology with the information I learned in modern schooling mm -hmm. of how water systems work and design systems work. So I put that to, to the practice now. And I have a company called Water Now. 
and we've been around for about six years now. And we've been doing projects in over 12 countries. We serve now 110,000 people. And what we do is we first look at the water source. Where does it come from? Is it a spring? Is it a water well? And is it a river, a cenote? And then we can test the water and find out what's in the water. Um, a lot of people don't know what's actually in their water, what contaminants are in it, what's the pH, what's the alkalinity. Then from we know that, we can know the best way to regenerate the water from there. So all of our filter systems that we install, they're all natural systems that they don't strip any minerals away. Um, they're minimalist technology, meaning that they can be implemented almost anywhere. And what they do is they eliminate the need for plastic water bottles. So um, we're focusing on establishments as well as homes. And particularly our passion project now is working with indigenous communities uh, here in Tulum with the um, Mayan community. And one of the biggest ways also to regenerate water is through rainwater catchment systems. So a typical system would look like um, a water source, then we would put a solar power pump, pump the water through a, like a four-stage filtration system, which is sediment, carbon, one that removes chemicals and metals, and a UV that removes bacteria, okay. to a water storage tank. And then from the water storage tank, it would be served to the community kitchen. And the storage tank can also be provided as a rainwater catchment system. Beautiful. So this is really what we're working on now is how to um, spread this uh, technology and be able to utilize it in more places. Um, and also so communities and individuals can be self-sustainable and regenerative in their own homes and communities with the water systems. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is so crucial these days, um, being, being sustainable, being autark too, right? Someone recently shared with me that the price of gas is the same as the price of water these days. So that just shows how, how valuable this resource is and um, how much we have to value it ourselves. So thank you for everything that you're doing. Water is life indeed. Thank mm. you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Karuna. It is always an honor and pleasure chatting with you. Your work for water is inspiring and spreads across the globe. Now we get to connect with Stephanie from Region Tulum. They're doing a whole bunch of amazing things within the Tulum community, really bringing together co-creators to uh, inspire for action. Um, today we'll be chatting about community life and the region coin, uh, a token within the blockchain that allows the community to reward people for doing good, joining cleanups and being active within the community while raising funds for important infrastructure within Tulum for water treatment, waste management and education. Let's take a look. Are they regenerative communities, eco-villages that are very inspirational to you? I mean, there are there are a lot for sure in many ways. I mean, they all have like the their pros and their cons. You know, they're not none that would be perfect that I will say like this is the one but I will definitely like make my call to Wewe we Coyotl mm -hmm. that is like the first one in Tepoztlan that is like my family you know like uh, Abuelo Coyote for me is like a person that I really will follow everywhere anywhere and that he opened and they all opened this way this path of the ecological warriors in Mexico so mm. I definitely have like a big heart on that community and they're my family, I love them all. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. I know you're participating in the regenerative movement in many different ways, including crypto, DAOs, uh, tokenization. Do you want to share something about that? Yeah, of course. Like it's it's uh, our like tool, you know. It's this present that like the system gave us to get a real system working, you know, to uh, organize a little better the DAOs. If like the people doesn't know what a DAO is, it's um, uh, 
uh, it's an autonomous, like decentralized autonomous organization. Right. So it's like a way that we can decentralize, have uh, funding, have decisions, have organizations, have like different ways, but in a, in a form uh, inside of like a blockchain that is like protected, that is there, that no one can erase it, and that also uh, it will be transparent, you know, it right. will be right there, every transaction, every action, everything, and that easily also like rewards the people that is being because with all this war like all these 12 years or and many many of the rest of the people that is being like working on this for years is like right. no there's no um, fun like there's no like reward money you know mm -hmm. sometimes to get payback to what we are like taking care of the good stuff taking right. care of the air then they no one is really paying for that you know right. so with this system of the DAOs and all this crypto financing and all that we're finally gonna get the money that we need to pay the people that is just serving for that right. and it's not paying with money but it's like these benefits that gives you the really being you know and right. it could be yeah. also money but it's more that like benefits you know and right. voice and that your voice counts on decisions mm -hmm. and that you can also get like I don't know uh, housing fooding like with different school, schooling right. you know like many different things that you won't need to get like money itself or whatever but do that you will be rewarded for what you're doing for the right. earth systems you know so. locally that would be the Tulum coin that you're working exactly, on right? exactly yeah. precisely yeah 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 we're working on the Tulum coin that it's like getting also built it from all of us you know mm -hmm. it's not that one is doing it or it nothing comes from me you know it comes from like this need of making a regenerative coin like a regenerative fund so it's like how can we use a little bit of the millions of millions of dollars that are every week like spend it on Tulum to just take care of like the water systems the trash systems like how like the education of the community and it's simple you know and it's not that one is going to take all that money and decide no we're going to make a DAO so it's decentralized voting you know so everyone that is part of this and is part of the founders that is not like I'm the founder no we're all co-founders and right. we're all going to become founders with the NFT and like supporting and being like part of it so mm -hmm. uh, yeah it's, it's pretty nice I'm super excited to like get this uh, local coin crypto local coin going because it will be a really inspiration also to create more you know it's not just Tulum coin Tulum coin will be the pilot right. to like start this start and somewhere. make like Tepos coin and Oaxaca coin and everyone coin and if everyone feels like this call to make like regenerative crypto coins happen it's like yeah there it will be uh, uh, how to make it you know an open source thing just like hey this is how we made Tulum coin this is how it works and you can just apply it to your community you know right you create a template for others to do the same thing exactly. which is such a beautiful reflection of the regenerative mindset yeah thank you for everything that you do yeah thank, thank you, you for, for thank today. you <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie, and thank you for reaching to Loom for all the amazing work that you're doing. I then had the pleasure of connecting with Enrique from the Green Squids, impact investment operators focusing on the co-creation of intentional communities and not only making them ecologically sustainable, regenerative, but also economically sustainable while putting a high emphasis on the social component. So really creating uh, intelligent, self-nourishing systems that allow a community to thrive in all its important components, ecology, economy, and the human element. Let's take a look at it. Enrique, thank you so much for sitting with me today. Thank you. What brought you to Tribalize this week and what's your mission? Well, uh, our mission is to make uh, regenerative development uh, conveniently responsible. Mm, okay. <laughs> um, it, from everything, from the investment vehicle all the way to uh, you know people's lifestyles and livelihoods uh, without creating a huge rift between uh, what you do now and where you want to be, regeneratively speaking, in five, ten years, uh, whether it's your house, your money, uh, you know, it, it can all flow into a system, a circular system of uh, uh, shared value. Mm. Um, in which you have, uh, we're an impact investment operator, so our end goal is actually to channel effectively all this financial capital that has been uh, uh, bubbling. Mm -hmm. right. uh, we, we subscribe to uh, uh, inclusive capital uh, ideals, which is 
that financial capital is only one kind of capital. There's human capital, there's natural capital, there's all these stocks of value for our lives and for the lives of others that we share the planet with. And so once you move something, you always move everything else. Mm -hmm. Everything and is connected. Exactly. So what's <laughs> been happening is that we have placed too much value on financial capital and so now we have amassed all this capital that needs to be bit like energy needs to be transformed into something else. So mm. now it needs to pendulate back into human capital, into natural capital, and our model, we have been designing a model that does just that. Uh -huh. How uh, do you do that? Well, our model is based on four principles, uh, which is places, production, uh, places, people, production, prosperity. Places, people, production, prosperity. Hmm. Yes. Uh, our main goal initially is to take a space, the spaces we inhabit, and make sure that we are affecting those spaces in a positive manner. That as in land development. As in land development and management, uh -huh. where the carrying capacity, we make sure that the natural carrying capacity of the space not only remains, but also grows. Mm -hmm. And it grows enough and in a certain way that allows for human life to develop there. As, right. as, as a positive part of that ecosystem. Right, uh, so you're building regenerative communities. Yes, mm -hmm. intentional regenerative communities uh, where that ideal use of the land creates value. Right. Because uh, it has it, 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 it adds value year by year, uh, not only because of where the land is, but because of how it's managed. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, it, it's 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 being productive because it, it produces in in a centropic in a form of centropic agriculture. It produces raw materials. It produces food. Right. And then on top of that, you have capital stocks within that ecosystem of uh, productive plants, whether they're for fiber, for building, for food. Each one of us needs somewhere between 30 and 50 kilograms of raw materials per day for fuel, for food, for everything. And we don't produce them. We mostly live in areas that are inert, mm -hmm. that not only are not producing anything valuable in terms of na nature, they're not o already not producing anything in terms of value for uh, social intelligence, right. uh, which happens in forests, which happens in jungles, mm -hmm. and which used to happen to us, mm -hmm. uh, from families to communities to towns to everything right. else. No? But now people don't know each other, people don't invest together except uh -huh. to make more money. Uh, and you're turning this around. We're hoping we're hoping to to have a very well thought out, disciplined proposal that has enough proof of concept for people to uh, adopt it and use it and adapt it to their own needs, to their own communities. Hmm. So if I am a regenerative community creator, how do I get in touch with you? How do I make use of your wisdom and your... Well, we have uh, our website hasn't really been updated for a while, but uh, it's thegreensquids.com. Our okay. organization is called The Green Squids. Our contact information is there. And um, the, the way their model works is that it doesn't matter what kind of investor you are. You could be someone saving up for a house, or you could be an accredited investor or a landowner. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we have a one-stop shopping investment vehicle that is circular in fashion, because every time someone invests into it, everybody's value goes up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, so you can contact me if you're a landowner, if you're somebody interested in developing uh, uh, a an intentional community based on a series of methodologies that, that you know we have proven. We've already spent uh, over $2 million in piloting our, 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 our project uh, in about six years of, of work. Uh, it's actually, for me, a life project. It right. started 30 right. years ago. Uh, but six years we have been working on this model and trying it out and trying the different uh, aspects of it and fairly successfully. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for all that you're doing. Yeah, you. It's so essential for this regenerative movement, for creating these new systems that really form mm -hmm. future for all of us. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, Enrique and the Green Squids, for all the amazing work that you're doing and have been doing for so many years. We're sharing links uh, for all the projects we are mentioning in the caption so you can learn more and connect and create synergies. Keep watching for Tribe Lies Day 3 and Day 4, more learnings, more inspirations, more connections. And if you like what you see, if you want to support the regenerative movement, hit like and subscribe.